with Ben Lindsay, who actually was fur tonight, but I've just looked at the uh, results on the sheet. You're, uh, um, well, you're not, sorry, you were fur tonight in the race yeah. tonight, but you're not third Englishman in the awards um, or in the trial because you're not with a club. Supposedly, yeah. I thought I was with AFD. I ran in an AFD vest and uh, turns out I'm not registered, which... Damn it, yeah, I hate to be a club secretary, <laughs> but he does a sterling job the rest of the year round, so we won't, uh, we won't pass on that. Um, third to nice, uh, an interesting race. Yep. You, you came through, okay, there was, a, um, there was a break away, you were held back, okay, was that on purpose? You were, you were pacing it, you felt as though they were pushing a bit too much, uh, or, no. or what? I, I mean, I completely missed the break. I just, it was really scrappy first few laps, um, and then I, I, I was like, looked up and before I knew it this break had happened and I didn't want to panic uh, so I just had to go to plan B and slowly kind of wind it up to try and catch them uh, so no it wasn't intentional it was a bit a bit frustrating but uh, live and learn. Happens. I actually thought you were the, the way you were closing on uh, Dewey okay I actually felt as though you were maybe going to get second there okay but Dewey was uh, really good and uh, he, he held on very very strong there. Um, I, I love, I know a lot of athletes and everything else, okay, you know, you've got no sponsorship at the moment, um, you just worked probably 50 hours a week last yeah. week, you were at an expo all day yesterday, were you? Yeah, the bodybuilding expo. The bodybuilding, you were, were you modelling? Uh, well, I should have, everyone was walking around with no tops on and it's like an alpha male <laughs> scenario, everyone's just trying to show off the pecs and that, plenty of nice women there, <laughs> the fit looking ones, not the ones that were like men. <laughs> <laughs> not the ones that were men. So. <laughs> What's the rest of the season? Okay, so that was uh, I, I, I would take that as a positive thing. With uh, yeah. what, what you're going to do, you're going to sit down with Coach Scott and uh, yeah, yeah. Overall. I mean, how's he been? How's he been with the coaching? Great, absolutely. Like, start like he kind of started off as a little helping me out when I was out in the states. Uh, I was kind of bored just running, and I just said to him, "Do you mind mind just throwing some sessions my way?" And I knew he was kind of looking to get into coaching and doing some training and kind of started to go well and when I came back to England he uh, he like gave me more stuff and we started seeing quite good results but he's brilliant he's like a lot of uh, is he a better coach or a better runner uh, Ooh. I don't we'll know. find out we'll yeah. find out he's not the finished piece so what's, the, what's, go, what's going on for the rest of the season what, what, what are you hoping to do what are you looking uh, well the ultimate plan was to uh, finish top two today Obviously, that didn't happen, but it's still a positive. Um, would like to do the European Cup for GB, because I haven't run for GB since 2008. Mm -hmm. So it would be nice to get that mm -hmm. uh, vest again. Uh, I've entered for the Bupa 10K on the road. Yep. So that's, if the European Cup doesn't happen... The now, that's a club championship. Do you think you'll be registered in time for that race? Or? I really do hope so. We've actually got Dave Bedford who's over here, okay? There's no problem getting in the race, okay? Yeah. We've just got to maybe have words with the thing. But listen, that was that was a very, very positive thing. I'm sorry yeah, you didn't get the top two there, but fingers crossed. Um, yeah. We'll see how it goes with the European Cup. Yeah, and, uh, cheers. And keep cracking on, but very, yeah. very positive from Thanks, my point Tom. of view. Cheers.